Hi everyone, so today I will be doing a resin update and I have been working on some pieces, especially a custom order for deco bunnies. I will be showing that piece last, so stay tuned for that. Um, but let's get started off with this piece that I really like. So the first piece I've been working on is this baby cinnamon roll uh, squishy piece and the baby cinnamon roll is actually really hard as you can see like I'm pressing pretty hard and it's barely squishing but I still think it's super adorable and I happen to have um, baby cinnamon roll stickers so I was able to put that in there but I like how this turned out um, I will probably make another one if I can get my hands on some more cinnamon roll pieces but I think this is pretty cute. The bag is just white and it's not even nice. So yeah, but I really like this. And I hope you guys too you guys do too. I got some pretty good feedback on Instagram when I posted a picture. But this is the completed look. I still have to sand down the edges. But yeah. So then some other pieces I made are relatively simple. I have these Rilakkuma pieces. This one is Kurilakuma with some macarons or macarons and just has a white back and then I have this My Only Rilakkuma one and you guys know I I really like My, My Only Rilakkuma so this is one of the pieces that I made and then I have this other one that is nicely domed on both sides so I like touching it because it's like really smooth on both sides but here's what it looks like, and you guys might have seen this on my update video, if you guys watched that. And then I have some Sunday pieces. So, I have these two, and I've been trying the rainbow kind of effect that you guys see here. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, it definitely looks very summery, in my opinion. So I have those two pieces, and the back are just white. And then I have these two Sunday pieces, and you might have seen one of them in the update video as well. This piece um, was actually made backwards uh, because I have leftover white resin, so I poured that in first and I worked backwards. But I think it turned out pretty nice. And then this one, um, I still need to dome the front. And this one's a double-sided piece, so this is what the back looks like. And then I have this little macaroon or macaron piece. It's really simple and plain, I guess. And then I have this cupcake piece that I should have used a different colored background for because the sticker doesn't stand out that much. And this one happened to have air bubbles, so I'm a little bummed about that. But I think it's still pretty cute. And lastly, just the tile and I this one is like the first piece that I did with five layers total and I really hope she likes it so this is for deco bunnies and this is what it looks like um, I still have to find out how to hang it and stuff but um, she wanted something with tea and sweets and I'm like very limited with my <laughs> glitter colors and my stickers so this is what I was able to come up with. I really hope she likes it. But it it's a little chaotic. It does have five layers. So there's like different stuff in each layer. And has some felt on the back for her to hang on the wall. Um, but yeah, this is just what it looks like. I'll give you guys a little close up. And it has her name on it in beads. So, yeah. And I think it turned out okay. I don't know. I really hope she likes it. But tell me what you guys think of this piece. Because um, I usually don't do custom resin tiles because I don't think I'm that good with it. But, you know, I tried. So this is what that looks like. And that is all for my resin update. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are doing well. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!